This is Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. Nightly Fix. On News Talk 93 FM. It's a fix. Bono. 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 Welcome back to Nightly Fix. News Talk 93 FM. It's your boy Nara here with Ari. Dam Dam. DJ Burns. If I introduce the intern, Kimmy is here. <laughs> Kimmy the intern is here as well. I have a very special guest with us tonight. Former West Indies cricketer turned reggae artist Omari Banks is here in the studio with us tonight. Woo! Yes. Give mm. it up. Give it up. Give glad it up. to be here. Glad to be here. How are you guys doing? We're good, man. How are you? How are you enjoying the island? I'm nice. Well, I'm nice. I've been here many times before. Yeah. Um, I've played cricket here. I've played test matches here, as I said. And um, I've been here also many times to record as well as um, promotional runs. Mm. So I'm happy to be here this time. I actually was here in, in October for the last time before this time. Just doing a shooting music video for that song that you're hearing right now in the background. No point to prove. Proof with Peter Bargan. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, but last night I had an uh, album showcase at Triple Century and um, I was really happy about the reception. Um, people came out um, and everybody that was there enjoyed themselves. So, you know what I mean? Jamaica has always been a good place Second to me. Home. Yeah, man. It's mm -hmm. been a good place to me. And um, just being here tonight again, you know what I mean? The whole vibe is always good, you know what I mean? From mm. time you walk in to from time I leave, to time I leave. Great. But there are so many people like asking, like, why, why, why leave cricket mm -hmm. to be to be a musician? I'm why? wondering like, if it's another one of those cases of field <laughs> sportsman turned artist. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. I'll answer the question for you. Um, music was something that was I was always around. Yeah. Um, the story goes like this. My dad is uh, an artist. His name is Banky Banks. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been around music my entire life. Um, even before I started to play cricket, um, my earliest memories um, was having instruments in the house, performing on stage in Italy with my dad from the age of five years old, mm -hmm. doing the whole talent show thing. And I did that from from seven years until 16 years. So, um, when I first, when I finished high school, my first job after finishing high school actually was entertaining, going to different hotels by myself, playing the guitar. Wow. Um, so music was something that was always around. Um, it's always hard, it's hard for me to mention my music without even mentioning my dad as well. He's got the longest running music festival in the Caribbean. Um, this year will make 26 years that that, that music festival is going on. That longer last thing? Mm. Yeah, man, longer yeah. than Sting. Wow. Yeah. yeah, man, trust me. Yeah, so that's a fact. But no, um, you're offending. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but um, yeah, so I mean, to some put it in a nutshell, I've seen all of the big, the major acts in reggae music come to Angola. Mm. You call a name, they've been there from Buja Banton to Taurus Reda to Jack Cure to Chronix to, to, to everybody, to Culture. Mm. I mean, everybody's been there. And I've seen um, musicians come inside and outside of my house. I'm personal friends with a lot of the guys on, on the music scene from even just from over here for association with my dad. So um, music in a nutshell, music is something that I've been around. Um, cricket was something, uh, is something that I had a passion for and I love. And um, But I've always been the kind of person to follow my passions and my two passions have always been music and sports. So that was so always the plan? You know. it wasn't, I can't say it was always the plan. Um, it was always a passion. When I was focused, when I was playing cricket, I was totally focused on that. And to be honest, when I was playing cricket, I never had the thought that, hey, I'm gonna retire and I'm gonna do music until maybe until I decided to, hey, to, to do it. Um, when I was playing sport, and I think when you're playing sport, especially such a competitive field, you can't have the idea that, okay, I'm gonna play and yo, I'm gonna quit at this time or whatever. Mm. You have to be playing like you're all in. Mm -hmm. um, without that attitude, um, it's gonna be very hard for you to really excel because sport is, is one where there's so many ups, downs. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, but so bless like Michael John can put it down and go do something else and then pick it back up. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, but just even but whatever sport, whoever you are, mm -hmm. even Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant, you have your ups and downs in sports. True. So. So it's important to understand that when you have your downs, you, you can't be worried to just cap out one time. Mm. But so, what was the catalyst though? Like what like what was the moment that you say, you know what, I'm going to really pick up the music now? If I, if I was to be honest with myself, um, as I said before, I played professionally from 18, um, played for West Indies at 20. Um, in 2007, 2008, I went to England and played two years professionally over there for Somerset. Mm -hmm. um, came back to the Caribbean um, in 2009, 2010. 
and um, represented the Leeward Islands. Um, I was the leading run scorer and leading wicket taker for my um, professional team in the Caribbean. Um, and was the best all around in the entire Caribbean. I didn't get selected for A team, which had already played for the, the international team, West Indies team. And uh, when I got back to the Leeward Islands, and you know, I mean, it's well documented in sports where, especially in West Indies cricket, there's so much politics around it. And I just got to a point where I was like, hey, I'm not, I'm not ready, ready to, 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 to get up every day and go through the long hours in preparation if at the end of the day, um, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm being, you know what I mean? You, you, treated you, you treat, treat, treat a failure. I mean, but that's, that's the nature of sport. Yeah. Mm. And that has to be understood because I've played my entire career understanding that. Mm -hmm. um, but when I got to the point where I thought, hey, it was not worth it for me, um, I wasn't waiting to, to go out there and, and prepare myself the best that I could, given whatever circumstance existed. Um, I thought it was the time for me to move on, which happens to be the name Amazing. of my album. So oh, it has nothing on. to do yeah. with the West Indies and their basic, well-documented mismanagement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I would, I would, I would, no. I would, I would, <laughs> you put me on the spot, man. No, but no, but no, I mean, I, I wouldn't blame anyone, anybody. I mean, mm -hmm. it, I, I like to, to take responsibility for my actions. Um, as I mentioned before, um, outside forces can play a role. But I think as in the, the nature of sports is that there's no guarantees. As the nature of life is that there are no guarantees. Yeah, because you said that, you know, you, you prepare, you say that, you know, to the point of you preparing and then end up probably not getting what you wanted. Like, you think that you prepare in, in the music industry, reggae, you know, and then probably you don't get the success that you want. You, you this Isn't it the same thing, though? It is a, It is the same thing, mm -hmm. but... Um, but I think I learned a lot from sport, yeah. a lot, and true sports is yeah, sport, is teach up a life, you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, I mean, not that I didn't understand that. Yeah, I understood that 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 there are no guarantees, but I mean, there's so many lessons that you can learn from sports because it's so evident, and and you have to make and, and it's it's almost like not life um, compressed into a game and, and into. You know what I mean? Into, yeah. into one game, because mm. with, within the the, the the course of one game, you're gonna be up, you're gonna be down, you're gonna be this, and, and it's how you respond to that. Yeah. And um, when I'm when I'm doing my my, my music now, um, I've, I've tried to take over all the principles and, and lessons that I've learned from that. Where whether it is okay, when I'm on a gig or whether I'm I'm preparing for something and it doesn't go right, I'm always thinking, what's the solution to the problem, as opposed to thinking about okay, it's a big problem or shoot. What am I going to do? But I'm always looking for solutions and I'm um, trying to come out the better side of it. I get up every day, try to be better at what I do. Um, I'm actually very, um, I don't want to say anal, but I mean, yeah. I'm very <laughs> uh, Why? Well, psychology people know that anal means that you're very detail oriented. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, so I mean, I'm. I'm yeah, some base really similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm 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 actually the same way with my 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 music that the way I was with my cricket. Now. Yeah, because I read like in the bio you you do the, the in, like you see the engineering from the mu the writing the producing so you're very very involved in the music. But um on the the no point to prove with Peter like I feel like this is some sort of you you wrote this as a way like to is this like a yeah. To the cricket world. Yeah, yeah. Is um, it? It, it, it is, it, it is. I'll tell you what. I mean, if you listen to my entire album, hopefully um, you, you'll get that before I leave. Yeah. Um, the title track of my album is Move On. Yeah. And I'll start from there. Um, I think it's, it was... Poignant. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, when I decided to, to move on, mm. yeah. um, if you listen to the album, major, the entire album is really... It's inspirational. It's a song album of inspiration, as well as there are some songs social commentary as well as songs with really speaking about relationships mm -hmm. but basically the whole album is are the sound that i've written up to date has always been wholesome don't look back on what you could have done mm. just move on just but learn new champion mm -hmm. no point to prove now is a song with a little bit more of an edge and i wanted to do that and um i think it's there's no human being and no person that can really live their life and um, not have a time when you feel that you need to release or just True. say exactly, just say what you scream mean or just say, hey, this, I'm ha I've had enough. Yeah. And um, No Point to Prove is one of those kind of songs mm -hmm. um, because I think at, at some point in time, you just need to do that. It's important for your sanity as a psychologist. You should get what I'm saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you need a release point and um, No Point to Prove really is a statement. It's a release. 
And I think it was who better an artist to do that with somebody who I respected so much, the likes yeah. of Peter Morgan, who's um, vocally one of the best in, in, in the field, mm -hmm. as well as um, I've, I've watched him perform on many occasions. He captures the stage like 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 um, like none other. And so I think it was the perfect collaboration. Mm -hmm. And the song for me was one that's really close to my heart. One where um, I make references to cricket. I never I said um, I could never forget 2006 when me and some Shaka Dan used to lick them for six, mm -hmm. but no, no matter what you do, them still criticize. Even 2003 when I was soaring in the sky, you know what I mean. So I make yeah, throw in six with six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, creative. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was. It, I mean, my music is really about a story. Is me storytelling, expressing, yourself. expressing yeah. myself, yeah. But me storytelling as well as me. Yeah, storytelling, st telling my story, and as well as telling stories that I think are familiar, and um, so telling my opinion. So move on is really just therapeutic, and the point, no point to prove was just a release, a therapeutic release for for the things that you went through. Easy, yeah. psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, but um, it's 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 fun doing that actually, because I mean, because I believe even w when we write, um, and I think one of the advantages. One of the good things, but which I've um, found out so far is what people like about my music and my songwriting is that I've I've never been afraid to say what I, how I feel. So yeah. if I feel sad, if I feel bad, I mean, I'm not like I'm a little weakly ready to cry right <laughs> now. But I think it's important as a songwriter that you you're not afraid you to get every emotion, right? Not yeah. afraid to get inside yourself yeah. because people, even though they may not they may not say it, they feel that way. And they have a greater connection with what you're saying if you say it for them. Yeah. So everybody would feel, oh, I need to move on. Learn your. Everybody wants to be told they're a champion. Yeah. Uh, you may not want to tell nobody that or whatever, but you want to feel that. Yeah. You want to feel that that sense of strength um, to help you to move forward, um, and move on. And no point to prove our, our songs where you can, you can listen to the lyrics and feel inspired to do something greater okay and you asked it at 11 like what what what's the point and what's the meaning of 11 i'm um, 11 was my jersey number when i played sport mm -hmm. um i understand and, and I'm, I'm aware that whatever i do even after that's your this name of, first of all sorry is the name of your band right it's yeah. the name of my band as well mm -hmm. as what's the jersey number when i played sport yeah. and i thought that when i decided to move on mm -hmm. i would carry that with me forward Mm -hmm. um, it's important to to make the the, the association for me mm. um, because I've learned so much from that and understand that um, it's not something that I should be ashamed of because I was re I'm proud of of my achievements as a cricketer. Yeah. Um, and it's something where and you did much because you were the first Angolan. That's what your history may call. So yeah. First and only today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so small. Like I was talking to you off air that Angola is so small you can travel the entire island in an hour and a half. People. That's 90 minutes to travel an entire island. <laughs> I, I think that's that that would that would be a long time. <laughs> that would be a long no, time. No, but I mean, no, one and a half though. That's like what? Okay, here what? What's the speed limit in Jamaica? It no, but that's, that, that they don't. They say average 70. Okay, yeah. Anguilla is 16 miles long. So you tell me how long you can drive from oh one end gosh. to the next. Well, I'm I don't not do a big maths math person. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do math. Anyway, but we let's, see, let's see how big guitar here. You want to play a little something? Yeah, man, I'll give you a little Before you do so, tell people where you can follow you. Mm -hmm. and, and keep up with Amari Banks and all yeah. But first, you can get me on the web anywhere. My webpage is www.omaribanks.com. Mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram. Follow the me. Instagram. <laughs> Will do. Um, Omari Banks 11 is my name. I'm on Twitter, it's Omari Banks 11 as well. And on Facebook, just search Omari Banks. So I don't think that's too hard, right? Nah. All right. All right. So it's Omari Banks, Nightly Fix. Take me out to Elko something. Like All right, cool. I'm the first time I do for you guys is a song that's called Move On. I mentioned it a little bit before. Mm. So I'm going to do this one for you. The title track of my album is called Move On. But don't look back on what you could have done. Just move on. But learn you champion And don't sit and suck my friend You are a godson Just move on But learn you champion Would face the battles won 